Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Watch the rest of this video as I do a review and show you my Arma 3S Typhoon. So stay tuned. All right, here we go. Hey gang, so welcome back. So this is the Arma Typhoon 3S. It's actually the newest uh, uh, Arma 3S that I have in my lineup. Um, I kind of been going through my RC cars and getting rid of all the 6S and the larger vehicles. I kind of find that I really don't need them anymore. Um, I do have just like one vehicle that has like the um, Mojave motor and electronics. I took basically the uh, the motor and the ESC from the Mojave 6S that I had that was brand new and put it into my Vortex. Uh, basically like during uh, Black Friday a few years ago, I picked up um, another motor up, up from, uh, this is it Hobby Wing? The Hobby Wing motor and uh, ESC. Put that into my Sentin, oh, I'm sorry, into my Mojave and I was running that. So in the Vortex, as you know, you can watch my videos. I do have the uh, the Mojave electronics in there. So so uh, I have that and I've been playing a lot with this uh, Sentin 3S. This is kind of like my replacement for the um, for the Mojave. Uh, I like it a lot, have a lot of fun. Uh, and the reason why I'm going with, uh, with 3S instead of 6S it's only because I have a whole bunch of LS, I'm sorry, a whole bunch of 3S LiPo batteries. Um, and I can just charge it, you know, if I want to go to the park with my kids and I can just uh, throw this in there. They're, they're much easier to carry. Uh, they're very, uh, you know, lightweight compared to 6S vehicles. If I break parts and stuff like that, I don't have to spend as much normally compared to like 3S stuff. Uh, 3S is basically interchangeable in terms of parts as well. So I can always switch parts between the different vehicles and you know all those for all the different reasons that I just like you know going with a 3S. So so I was watching um, videos as you can see here. Here's my channel, and then I kind of renamed one of my my videos um, before it was just named uh, Protec 2111 Fan as you can see. But I added uh, Arma Typhon 3S on it because when I reviewed this video, it basically shows like a bunch of stuff that I actually added to it from brand new. Um, I mean, it, on the video itself, it just shows me putting on the Protec 2111 fan. And I'll provide a link to this, to this fan. And you know I like it a lot because it's aluminum and stuff like that. But just watch the video on why I like the, the, uh, the Protec fan. But, you know, I, I did a bunch of mods to this already, um, as you can watch the video, and I'll show you here on the live car itself. If you look at the vehicle, and I have this a little bit apart already because I was having issue with the, um, the radio but, um, and the, the transmitter and receiver. Uh, I lost connectivity once, and then when I watched this video, it gave me a reminder why the... Uh, I lost connectivity so if you look in here back here you see that gray wire this one right here and this is why you got to be careful with in with wire management but you can see it right there at the tip I actually pinched the antenna wire putting it back into the um, back into the box so this is the reason why uh, I'm not getting good range on my vehicle it's pinched and almost almost severed there you can see it so I'm gonna to have to order another one of these uh, receivers um, let's see here it's the X6 FG receiver from uh, it's a Dumbo RC transmitter and receiver so I'm gonna to have to order another one of those ESC's uh, and then uh, I'll just put it back in there because uh, the plan was actually to put the the Typhon 3S um, transmitter and receiver back in there. Um, I do have some other receivers, as you can see. Um, I did have the uh, let's see here. I did have my old uh, Vortex receiver. I could use that, and as well as the transmitter. I do have a few Fly Sky uh, transmitters. Um, I have a GT3B as well as a GT5. But the whole purpose of me putting this on a Dumbo RC is that if I use this, I can use it separately because 
Um, I didn't want to use my my other FlySky uh, transmitters if I use what those are connected to. Basically, I just have like my uh, Mini Bs and RC18s, my my very 18 scale or small 18 scale um, RCs hooked up to that because I have like a, several of those small ones. But for my larger vehicles, I, I keep the Dumbo RC because I kind of like the fact that it has like the uh, the gimbal, and it was the whole purpose of putting it in there. <clears throat> so that's why I had that. But um, for this video, we're not gonna change it out because I, again, I don't have any SC to replace it. I'm gonna place an order on um, on Amazon, and uh, and once I get there, I'll just replace it. But in this video, I did actually go over the mods that I did kind of noticed that so I wanted to make this video just to show you the kind of things that I did do to it um, if you look in the video see that there I got some pretty big wheels and tires so those wheels and tires are actually off of my uh, Mojave um, I got some Protec tires on there put on uh, well, not Protec but uh, wheels and tires I figured what the brand was there you can watch the videos on the um, my Mojave. Um, I basically sold those. I took it off of this uh, Typhon 3S and put it back to stock because uh, those wheels and tires are pretty heavy, as you can see there. So, I, uh, and then I ended up selling my Mojave, and then I included in the sale those wheels and tires. So, the new owner has those things. Uh, now, my uh, Arma 3S Typhon. Um, I'll show you some of the mods that I did do. Uh, these are the big bore shocks. And then you can kind of watch a review and install that I did. Basically, I bought these initially for the Arma Vortex. So there is a video where I installed big bore shocks in there. I basically got these off of eBay. And it, the only reason that I bought them um, is just to change up the looks of this. Just to dress it up. That was the whole purpose of getting these big bore shocks. They do offer um, a little bit of performance gain. I mean, they are they should be more durable. As you can see, they're much um, much more robust. And then you can use the um, shock weight oil of your choice for those. And then you can get these in a variety of colors, like red, blue, gold, uh, whatever they're offering on eBay. You can get those. And I wanted to stick with silver. They don't want to go all red or too much red on these. Um, I changed my pillow balls to all red, aluminized, instead of the plastic ones that were in there. So again, that's just for dress up. And as you can watch on this video, I have Protec fans on that. So I did install the Protec fans on my Arma Titan. So I do have two of those. One on the motor and one for my ESC. And then again, watch the video for the reasons why. The last thing that I uh, <clears throat> did do is uh, I did put in a different servo and then this is the what brand is I think this is the Hexfly and it comes from uh, I got it off uh, Amazon as well it's the 25 kilogram uh, servo and normally they come on those red caps the truck and I find them very affordable uh, they've been lasting me pretty much uh, for the cost, uh, you know, very well. I mean, I haven't, I haven't destroyed one or broken one yet. Um, before, when I was running, like the infraction and the um, the um, felony, I had much quicker servos. But because this is more like a basher, you need something a little bit more torque, a little bit more strength. It didn't need to be as quick, but more torque. Especially when I was running those um, <clears throat> Mojave tires and wheels that I got because they're so much more, you know, they're much more heavier. But the response on this is a lot better. But the only thing that you will have to do is um, there is a servo saver they might have to change out because the teeth on the servo saver from Arma is different. Uh, I think you need like a 25 tooth um, servo saver. So you would have to buy one of those just so that it all matches up. So when you put in your servo, it matches your servo saver. You can go aluminum, but I tried it that way. There were some mods that I had to do, and then I'd rather run the servo saver as just a direct screw in. 
when I replaced it <clears throat> and everything works fine so uh, we'll keep this video short I just wanted to do uh, basically you know a review of what I have so far in my armor Typhoon 3S because I thought I actually made a video when I bought this um, all the different things that I did to it but basically I only made a video with the armor uh, with the uh, Protect fans in there so um, so that's this is my vehicle normally this is typically what I do I tighten make sure all the screws are tightened and everything when I buy a new vehicle take it out see what's deficient what I what I want to do to it and everything and then take it from there and these mods are pretty uh, cheap and easy I think this is you know it's a good start for 3s vehicles um, basically yeah you always want to check your screws make sure everything's tightened and everything but first thing that I normally would do is actually change my servo uh, I, I typically am used to stronger and quicker servo um, so that when I'm steering I'm steering um, and I just get used to that kind of feel so I did upgrade it and then I got again I got two of these from Amazon I think it was like $45 at the time so I got two servos for like 45 bucks not sure how much they cost now but you know that's how cheap you can get these actually so you can get these pretty you know at a pretty good price okay uh, what else did I did do so I got the big bore shocks I changed my my pillow balls there to aluminum red just for dress up and I upgraded my fans and I upgraded my radio so I'll be fixing that uh, I won't do a video of that uh, I, I, I I guess I'm kind of uh, lucky that I did watch my videos again and I did have it in there that I said oh you gotta watch out when you put your wires and doing your wire management because you can do something like this and it's not the first time I mean if you do a lot of uh, switching out of things um, especially when I did the fan or initially changed the uh, transmitter and ESC in this uh, this is what happens so don't be careless you just got to take your time make sure you got it you get everything in there um, I mean this is these are a lot of wires because you know <clears throat> basically you're running two fans and you're running power to the ESC and all of those things so that's the reason why okay guys so that's my Typhon S uh, 3S this is the body that I did also watch the video on the reasons why I did use my Dremel tool to kind of like cut holes in here basically just to let hot air escape and again I also have another video you can check it out about me whoa someone shooting fireworks uh, <laughs> so, uh, me doing drywalling so if you want to learn about how I drywall tape my body this is it you can watch videos on that too so short video guys just me and my Typhon 3S and uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up soon alright guys take, take care we'll see you soon